Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel, Simone Speaks. I just wanted to wish you guys an amazing rest of December. This is going to be a love and general reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. Um, I am kicking off this video with showing everybody two manifestation technique tools that I do use. The first one is a journal. None of this is going to be sponsored, guys, but I'm just showing you guys. Um, I am encouraging every single zodiac sign this month to get a journal, okay? Write down what you accomplish, write down what you want to accomplish for next year, for the remainder of this month and see things happen for you and I'm also sharing with you guys the book of the year for me which is called the secret I don't know if you guys have heard of this book before not sponsored again but I just wanted to share with you guys this book I have shared this book with so many friends so many strangers and this book has honestly changed my life so if you're looking for a good book to read this may the, be maybe the book for um you and uh, many many blessings okay so Virgos let's see what you guys have for December I hope that this month so far has treated you guys very, very well. Thank you for tuning into my channel. All right, we have three cards that came out together. We have uh, the King of Swords Reverse, Two of Cups Crossing. The crowning energy is a Chariot card, so the Chariot card is a Cancer card. Bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Cups. So lots of cup cards here, Virgo. All right, so definitely could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio again. All right, so heavy Scorpio energy here. Heavy Cancer and Scorpio energy for the Virgo reading. Very, very interesting, okay? Could be, um, could be trying to choose between a, a, a Cancer or Scorpio or a Cancer or Scorpio trying to choose between you and somebody else, Virgo. That's a possibility. Well, new love is coming in, okay? Or a renewal of an old love connection. Okay, so it could be an ex coming back. Um, heavy Cancer energy there. Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn. Capricorn, Earth. The Hierophant. All right, so it looks like there could be some commitment on the horizon for you, Virgos. Um, in more ways than one, all right? Could be a commitment to um, a new lifestyle, a new way of making income. Could even be uh, in the future getting a new job, wanting to, wanting to change a job. And the last card we have is the Empress. So also pregnancy, or also just could just be a new beginning, a new start of a um, relationship. Messages for Virgos for December. Prince of Pentacles, okay. Has energy of wanting to protect yourself here. The Sun card, Leo. Queen of Swords and the High Priestess Reverse. So yeah, definitely Virgo. There is some energy here with not being sure about somebody's intentions with you or not being sure about some kind of job. Um, could be both, okay? Because the High Priestess Upright is a very powerful card. The High Priestess Upright is talking about dreams, okay? Um, spirit guys, if you, if you believe in that type of thing, all right? Getting divine intervention, divine guidance as to what to do. Um, you guys have it in reverse so it could be that maybe this this moment this time period for you guys is trying to get you back in the um how should i say it like back in the in the groove here with handling your intuition knowing how to use your intuition to the best of your ability i also feel here that there could be a lot of you guys worried about the person you're with um especially if you're married there is some energy here with wondering if your partner's cheating on you um I do offer I do offer part readings, but right now I'm not doing it because I just moved. Um, so if you want to get a reading from me, um, I, when I resume, I will let you guys know. Do not worry. The Seven of Swords is um, the card of cheating, trickery, stealing, divorce, deception. So I'm going to pull clarifier for that real quick, and then we'll get into the reading, guys. Even more detailed into the reading. Um, I want a strong clarifier for the Seven of Swords, please, upright for Virgos. What is the Seven of Swords about? Okay. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. And the Nine of Swords reverse. We have two nines in a row. So nine is close to ten. Ten is completion. All right? The end of a cycle. So, yeah, you have lots of energy here with... Um, fearing the end of something like not being prepared for it so yeah here's the deal virgo you've got to be true to yourself okay if you're if you're feeling like something's not adding up okay then you're gonna have to trust that um 
Now the way you can the, now the way that you can trust that feeling or um, get clarification um, could be through a reader. Okay, could be through um, a spiritual. Uh, person in general who could help you um or friends so maybe somebody close that you trust that you can actually tell them what's going on and they can give you sound advice but i think more importantly it's about yourself it's about how you feel about it so uh, maybe turn more inward than outward virgo okay begin to look at how this person makes you feel i mean that's i think one of the best indicators for anything um is how does something make you feel now automatically if you think about something or a person or um, a college or whatever that gives you a, a straight up negative vibe or a, or a vibe of confusion, then that's not um, in alignment with positivity, okay? Because it may sound kind of extreme, but anything that's in alignment positively with you, Virgo, if you are giving off positive vibes, if you are being, you know, a diligent worker, if you are on top of things and somebody or something is not really panning out, then you have three options that Spirit's saying here. The first option is to wait. The second option is to check how you feel. And the third option is to get a higher level of information, okay? Either intuitively, um, through somebody else, or I would say circumstance, okay? Like naturally letting something unfold and seeing if it's best for you. Um, there is some anxiety here, okay? There is anxiety here that I'm picking up on. There is something about you not being sure. Well, we do have the Queen of Swords here and the Seven of Cups here. So if it's, re if it's in regards to love, um, what I feel like saying here is that you do have options. Now, if you're married, um, you know, that you may not want this to apply to you because obviously you're married, you know, monogamous relationship. But if you are somebody married who this is applying to and this is hitting home, then it's simply indicating here that you need to just realize that you have options, okay? Or you could have options. Um, there's not, there, it's not like there's a barrier, okay, to, to what you can do, what you can't do. So if there's some kind of weird energy around you where you feel like, um, there is no other choice, then that's between you and the universe. But if, if you feel that, uh, you know, if, if you feel like somebody's letting you down or something's not going the way it should go, then you have to really check on um, where that energy is coming from. Because with the two of cups and the chariot card, it does signify somebody coming in, though. It does signify some kind of communication, some kind of um same page, same, same story energy where maybe you you and this person can't get on the right page here. Um, that That's definitely here. Uh, but I'm going to do another Celtic for you guys, okay? I'm just going to do another Celtic because I feel that that message is um, pretty sealed and dealed and delivered here. Let's go ahead and do another Celtic for you guys. Let's see what's going on with Virgos, okay? I feel that your reading is going to be mainly, mainly love love themed so far okay there could be other categories that come up in this reading but i feel so far but it's mainly love okay so messages of love for virgos please for december um i just keep hearing you know be true to yourself be true to yourself be true to yourself um you know be true to how you feel if you're uncomfortable then you're uncomfortable if you feel safe then you're safe right it's not really difficult to understand but a lot of times us humans when it comes to emotions um especially with lot, if, especially with lots of water in your chart queen of cups reverse um there could be a scorpio female pisces female cancer female turning a scorpio male down or this could have happened to you could be a, a virgo male that's watching that this water sign female has turned you down okay yeah but um new beginning the full card crowning energy again so it's a new beginning so a new beginning wants to be birthed here king of cups again so yeah this is this is definitely no mistake we have two major uh cup cards here we got the queen and the king okay the king is upright the queen's reverse so I normally do not read cards this this way, depending on the cards around it. But what I feel from these cards so far, um, take it or leave it, is there could be a, definitely a, a, a female water sign for the male Virgos watching who could or wants to turn you down. OK, and then for the other viewers, um, in any way, shape or form, there is a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio male who I feel wants to take up your offer and have a new beginning with you. Now, this actually could be a boss, a boss like figure or somebody who um, 
is a reference for a job or like recommends a job to you through the grapevine could be through family and friends maybe maybe this is a family business okay maybe somebody wants to offer you a gig through the family business or somebody you know like a friend you know wants to offer you a water sign male wants to offer you a job and so it's like you're having to choose what to do but there's some kind of underlining sneaky um confusing feeling there so this could be somebody who's deceptive, okay? This could be somebody who is deceptive and is trying to deceive you, all right? Before I tell you guys that for sure, um, I'll pull more cards, all right? Don't want to freak you out. Temperance, balance in the future. So it's asking you, so regardless of what you take on this month, Virgo, it's asking you to have balance, okay? Have a balanced approach to things. Um, maybe not take everything so literally, all right? Um, that That's going to resonate for somebody out here. Yeah, three of swords reverse, okay, in your in your distant past. So clearly there was some kind of um I feel that three of swords reverse though either is going to happen or has happened already. I don't think it's a present like a present situation, okay? I think it's just really uh either either somebody has like you know, betrayed your trust or I feel like that could happen even though it's in this position that's the energy that i get because we have a three of swords reverse then we have the full card so it's kind of jumping from a to z here so it's there's really no in between virgo so it is extreme energy all right so it's like the universe is ask is asking you to have a non-extreme approach during an extreme situation isn't that something virgo wow so they're asking you to have a non-extreme approach to an extreme situation so basically it's saying here that you need to just go ahead and um release any worry here yeah seven of cups reversed so in the first spread i have the seven of cups upright now i have it reversed why is that now i have the seven of cups reversed so it seems like a change of heart virgo a change of heart is is probably coming up for you guys and I feel this could really be about work and love. Exactly. Okay. The card, I, the cards I pulled for you, um, is block out distraction and have courage to ask for help and accept help. So it's kind of a double edged sword here, but in, not in a bad way, in, in a positive way. It's like asking for help and accepting help. So it's like, no, two sides of a coin, not a sword. Sorry two sides of a coin here okay so one side is asking for help the other side of the coin is is is, is is accepting the help so like i said earlier there could be somebody um around you very close to you because there's, there's there's four people there's four little girls this could be this could pass for a boy but there's really it looks like four girls little girls here so yeah there definitely could be somebody who's a friend or um I do get the energy here of somebody who's like a reader like me or um, clairvoyant. Yeah, this this could be an indication of wanting to get some kind of higher level help. It's not far off, okay? When I put these two cards side by side, it says, your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. You already know what these distractions are, Virgo. You have to have the power and use your power to block out things responsibly. So exactly, like if there's somebody um, around you or this, there's a love interest around you who I feel is like not um, investing into you equally, like maybe you're giving a lot to them, but they're not, they're not giving a lot to you, then it's saying you need to have courage to kind of ask for ways to not be um reliant upon their attention or reliant upon their relationship because you did have options in the first spread you have seven of cups in the first spread if this resonates with you so it's like there is options here but your last two cards is five of pentacles reverse and seven of cups reverse so there is still some energy here with um I feel like needing to move on from something. That's what I'm that's what I feel overall. Okay. There could be some kind of relationship or a way that you view yourself, Virgo, that I feel is kind of like washed out and done. Okay. There's some kind of way that you view yourself that I think is not um necessary. And my right hand is itching. Okay. Now the right hand is really known a lot of times for receiving money. So with the king of pentacles and five of pentacles reverse there is energy here of receiving money okay so there could be some hold up with money or um you're wanting more money it's going to come through that's going to come through for sure now it may not be um a, a big amount 
um, that, that you're hoping for. It could be, could not be. It, it just, I feel that it, it's going to be an amount that you need, okay? Not that you want. So for example, if, if your check's supposed to be two grand, but you're asking for 20,000, then you're going to have to have the belief to match that, okay? There's going to have to be a different source, okay? Or more than one source in which you get that. So it's like you have to be realistic, but not too realistic, Virgo. So you're kind of, you're, you're really in limbo here. You know, I, that's what I feel. You are in limbo. That's why it's asking you to have balance. The temperance card, Sagittarius. Yeah, it's asking you to have balance, Virgo. You need to have more balance. You need to have more balance, okay? Um, and I feel that, you know, if you're giving a lot of energy to other people, you need to give it back to yourself. Now, this has kind of been a, a, a message, I feel, for all Zodiac signs this month. It's like, it's like, if you have business to take care of, if you have things to do for yourself that, that better your own life, then focus upon that, okay? Don't feel guilty if you have to um, take some time away. Exactly. Do the work. Look at that. The card says, do the work, raise or promotion. And the, the two orc cards that I pulled back to back are the same color. The first two cards are blue. The, the two um, cards here are purple. So Virgo, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio. You could have Scorpio, Virgo, um, other places in your chart besides Sun, okay? That's what I'm picking up here. You could be Virgo, Venus, Virgo, Sun, right? So it's saying here that don't give up, okay? Congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result or it will be a result of your positive focus. Exactly, Virgo. So where is your focus um, at, right? Okay, maybe you need to like listen to more music or you want to work on more music. You could be a musician watching this, okay, this 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 video. And maybe you are thinking of quitting some kind of um entertainment industry you're in. And I feel the cards are saying here to not give up. Okay, go a little bit deeper, go a little bit harder, that much harder, because your positive focus is going to give you that abundance you're looking for. It's going to happen. Um but you need to have the strength, okay? Now, there's a lot of water signs that keep showing up here in your spread. I hope this resonates with you guys so far. Um, there is a lot of water signs that keep coming up in your spread. So I'm going to go ahead and like isolate those cards and see why you have so many cards with water. Now, once again, this could just be that you have water in your chart. It could just be as simple as that. But I don't think that that's all that it is. I think that it's... um. This could be somebody coming in for a lot of you, or this could be somebody currently around you that you need um, an answer about, okay? You need some kind of, like, answer. Well, Ace of Swords for the Seven of Cups. So, yeah, exactly. Whatever you're torn against, yeah, whatever, okay, whatever kind of, like, multiple options you have in regards to something, I feel here, you're going to get the clarity sooner than later, okay? Clarity is going to come through for you, so don't worry, all right? Don't worry about it. Can I have a card, please, for Queen of Cups? One of the card for the Queen of Cups, please. Queen of Cups for Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. Especially Venus. A lot of, of Virgo Venus are watching this video, I feel. It's saying, have faith. Have faith that better days are ahead. Wheel of Fortune. Okay? So if you lost a water sign female or somebody has water in their chart or carries water characteristics, it's saying you need to have faith that this person will come back, okay? It's almost like if it's meant to be, it will be, okay? You have a card of clarity, you have a card of destiny. So it's all positive, Virgo. So if you're in a like if you're like in a negative space right now, don't worry, that's going to change, okay? It may take like once again, Cancer and Virgo's energy is very slow this month. Um because you have a lot of transitions coming up, you have a lot of things changing and going on around you. So just be aware of that. Six of Swords with a Temperance card again, okay? So there's no, so that's definitely not a mistake, okay? So I feel that for a lot of you, if it's meant to be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is going to come back in the picture here. If it's meant to be. Um, for you people watching that have a, a water sign male in your mind, they definitely could come back and offer something, but just be careful and 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 uh, watch it carefully, okay? Make sure that it's not deceptive because there is some kind of energy here of deception. 
I don't really know why, but there is some kind of energy here of um, deception, possible deception. I'm going to pull three cards here. Well, we have the hangman. So it could be that maybe you or this other person want to make a move or something. Something wants to happen, but it's taking a little bit of time. I mean, the card literally says a temporary pause in action. A temporary pause in action. Seven of Cups. So it feels like if one option doesn't come through, Virgo, you don't need to worry because another door will open for you. Okay, so if one door closes, another one will open like right after. Yeah, three of swords, okay? So there was some kind of, um, there could have been or was some kind of deception, but that I feel is passing. It's going to pass. Now, depending on how quickly you heal, the universe can bring you somebody new depending on how quick you heal or not, okay? Depending on how quick you heal. So last few cards we have is Hangman, Seven of Cups, and Three of Pentacles, Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talent. So once again, there's something about a creative, a career, a creative, sorry guys, a creative career. So if you are somebody watching who has a creative career, I still feel the universe is saying here to keep going. Keep at it. Okay? This person may be kind of tired, feel kind of dirty you know, worn out, but look what they're producing. What they're producing is sparkling, is pure, all right? Is bliss, is bliss. So there's some kind of energy here with needing to not pay attention to how you look or how you feel and just go for it, okay? It says no more procrastinating, so if there's any confusion, it's coming from procrastination and overanalyzing things. What I feel you guys need to do here is get to the way you feel, okay? Feelings are not everything, but they are something. So for example, if you have two job offers, one job offer pays $40,000, but yet you have no weekends. The other job pays $80,000, um, but the place you work at is very, very far. So of those two cons that you have to that you have to deal with that are in your reality, okay? Which one which one is 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 the con that you actually can can cope with? The first con is the no weekends. The second con is it's too far. Where you work where you would have to work to is very very far. The driving is very very far. So it's like that, okay? Use, I mean, if, hopefully that helps, but you can use you can use a technique like that where you're juggling, you're seeing which one of each option um, will work best for your lifestyle, will, 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 will work best for what you want to accomplish. So anything that is being held up, I think is, is, is only temporary. Your intuition will kick back in the wheel, again, wheel of fortune and the wheel of number 10 is on your side. Delays will be over Virgo. Sudden or unexpected good luck, a new car travel. I was just talking about a car. There could be an Aquarius coworker, an Aquarius coworker or um, boss or relative that um, I feel is very, very positive for your, your energy level. Okay, so rely on people, you know, I feel this, this, this message overall, Virgo is saying, if you're having a tough time right now, you're, you're not liking the slowness because there is energy here of, of, of something being kind of slow, but still coming through being quite slow. I feel that it's, it's really, really kind of pushing you guys here to rely on other people. Um, not in a like codependent way, but just in a way that's like basically emotionally, emotionally you should be able to express things. And emotionally, there should be people around you that are willing to listen to you, are willing to hear your side of the story. That's what I think is going on here. So the message here is to not give up. The message here is to look at all your options and not get hung up on what is shoulda, coulda, okay? Just go with what feels best. Just go with what feels best. It seems so simple, but just go with what feels best. Last card here. I mean, if somebody's cheating on you and you don't want to be cheated on, 
then don't don't then don't entertain them so a raise or a promotion is going to come through it's going to come through but you're gonna have to focus rely upon other people emotionally at this time could be a child could be an older child allow yourself to emotionally you know speak with this person that will help you could be an aquarius okay could be a pisces could be a virgo like yourself virgo ascendant slash rising who can walk you through this but you do need to do that there's something in that connection there's something in that relationship emotionally virgo that i feel will bless your life and will enable you to see how special you are and will enable you to see all the progress you have made um so don't get hard on yourself this is just a temporary pause okay yeah that's all okay so you guys have an amazing december i'll see you in the next video take care god bless bye